I mean, I will come back to you, Senator, on uh, some of the happenings. This is not a first letter that is going to be leaked. Uh, there's one uh, with your friend, uh, the governor of uh, Kaduna State, also written and was leaked. Uh, Mr. Oshintokun, you have worked uh, uh, in the corridors of power, especially at the presidency. You know how these things work. When a minister says he is frustrated, he's been trying to see the president, of which he is the minister, the junior minister to the president, who in principle is a minister of petroleum. What does this really mean? What is happening? Uh, in, in your mind, what do you think is happening in the corridor of power? Well, it's, uh, it's chaos. You know, there's a, an element of being a chaotic uh, government and uh, or dysfunctional that, that is where offices and individuals are not performing their functions as expected but actually are doing it in a counterproductive way now, of course there are so many it's not if it is uh, you know an isolated instance you, know, you can although this is bad enough I mean, but also look at the case of uh, uh, the acting chairman of the EFCC that is perennially at the Senate, where an appointee of the, gov of the, of the president, the DGSSS, writes against the nomination made by the president himself. So the, you take all this together, and the picture you see uh, is that of uh, chaos. But and there is um, uh, a part explanation for that, you know, which is open to the public. And that is the physical indisposition of the president, is especially in the past one year. But the president you know, is well now and is back. No, no, but, but you see, it has piled up. You cannot make up for the time. For the better part of the past one year, he seems to have not been at his desk. And even when he's at home, but I'm not, uh, I'm just speaking uh, factually. We know that uh, he's not uh, performing at the peak of health. I mean, this is what we read in the newspapers. He may not be able to attend council meetings and so on and so forth. But it can be better money. So all these kind of things are also, is, is, they are fallout of the physical indisposition of the president. Members of his uh, presidency, many, most many, well, quite a number of them will take advantage of it, exploit it uh, to their own personal advantage or whatever, they, you know, to the detriment of the presidency. Now you have a minister. What this says is uh, is very damning on the presidency. You know that you cannot see the president. He wrote this letter in August, I think, and before he wrote that letter, maybe some months he had been able, waiting to see the president. He could not see him. to brief him on such an important segment, the, the most crucial. Uh, you know economic anchor of the country. So now you see, and then again, you look, go back to the beginning, right? What was the reason in the first instance for removing him as GMD? Remember that it was the president who appointed him as the, the GMD of NMPC when he came in. And barely a year after he was removed. Now, First and foremost, I, I, at, at, at that time, I was at a loss as to why would this be the reason. Okay. All right. But, Mr. Mr. Ochinto, Ochinto, we need to take a breather. Uh -huh. But you, you will tell us uh, how easy is it to, for a minister to see a president in sure, a cabinet. And the senator will also be talking to us and the mm -hmm. efforts of the Senate in this one. More analysis and insights into this very crucial topic when we return. Stay with us, everyone.